Chester Reed, mayor of the town of Smyrna, and today we're here for the 10th annual boat day at Jefferson Springs Recreation Park. First, I want to thank Greg Upham and Dwayne Lawson because this event could not be possible without them. I also want to thank all of our volunteers that give of their time every year to come out and make this event so special for all of our citizens. So today, people can come out, they can canoe, they can kayak with their family, and we also have individuals within the community, not only our volunteers, but businesses and organizations that have helped to make this day possible. The U.S. Corps of Engineers, the Stones River Watershed Association, the Smyrna Rotary Club provides volunteers as well, the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office, Academy Sports, Park Street, Fire Police, and the Water Treatment Plant Departments of the Town of Smyrna. The great thing about Academy Sports is they are donating a boat with the paddles to give away. So you could win that today as well. So I hope you've had an opportunity to come out today and enjoy Water Day with us. We're just out here with the citizens of Smyrna, Rutherford County, and Middle Tennessee coming out to learn how to paddle, either a kayak or a canoe, and as well as learn about water quality, what the importance of water quality is. These folks out here wouldn't be able to have this much fun if it was polluted. We hope that people will have fun, that maybe they'll go out and buy a kayak, but what we really want them to know is that in order for them to have this much fun on the water, there has to be clean water. Hello, my name is Courtney Morgan and I am here representing the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center, which is the new Outdoor Adventure Center that we have open here in Smyrna, where the event center is located. We have had lots of publicity and lots of attendance that are at the center, especially with the opening of Splash Town, our new renovated pool area. So you'll have to come and check us out there. But today we are here with a few of our program specialists and we are participating uh, in the education portion of Boat Day. This is the 10th annual Boat Day that we have here in Smyrna and uh, we're having lots of fun. With me I have a couple tools that if you are doing water quality measurements, all right, this would be good for the classroom, this is good for just uh, general knowledge and especially for scientists who might be uh, raising fish or different species, they have a lot of money invested in it, they want to make sure where they are releasing that animal is a healthy environment. So we're looking at a few parameters here today with the kids. This is just a basic, uh, basic testing kit that we have from the World Water Monitoring Challenge. This is something you can get and use in the classroom. Uh, we use it at our programs. I used it at camp a couple weeks ago. And just a few tests that we look at. Uh, this is one of our indicator cards here. We look at dissolved oxygen, uh, which is how much oxygen is in the water. Uh, it's very important for large animals like sturgeon and trout to have a lot of oxygen in the water. We look at pH, uh, which is how basic or acidic the water is, and then also turbidity, which is how dirty, cloudy the water is. So this ties in with an activity that we were doing earlier that had to do with hands-on, um, seeing how the water moves across the land, if there are pesticides, if there are uh, chemicals on land, and how they wash into the water, that would show up on some of these tests. So also taking temperature. So we're all familiar with the thermometer. That is one thing that we use. But also we use a pH here. So this is one of the tests I just threw together real fast. This has to do with how acidic or basic the water is. And as you can see, my test here, I took the water sample just right out here um, at Jefferson Pike. This water is a little bit basic. It's coming in at maybe, maybe between eight and nine. Um, this is a little bit basic water, so that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Most animals like to live in a neutral environment to basic environment. So this is pretty healthy water if we're just looking at the pH parameter. But also one really important parameter to look at is turbidity, how cloudy your water is. This little symbol right here is something called a secchi disc, which I also have in the bottom of my containers. Now, when we are doing this with children, we encourage them to fill up their cups with the water, and then we see how cloudy the water is. 
is. So on the ground here, I have a sample of water I took. Um, if you cannot see that Secchi disc in the bottom, we say that that is 100% JTU. That means, well, hold on. Yep, 100% JTU, that is a cloudy sample. If you can see the Secchi disc completely, we said that's zero JTU. And if you look down here, this sample down here is definitely a sample that has a lot of cloudiness. This would be, I kicked up the dirt, but if you saw this, you'd be expecting this type of environment to have leeches, snails, things like that. Not a very healthy environment. But if your turbidity did not have a lot of soil erosion and you had zero JTU on your turbidity, that would indicate a higher quality stream. You would be finding dragonfly nymphs. You'd be finding things like that. So today our education component, um, that is something we'll be talking about here at the tent. Uh, come out and see us. We also have one of our turtles on display, uh, Thea. She is our red-eared slider. You can also see her at the Smyrna Outdoor Adventure Center if you come to visit. So thanks so much for having me. We're having lots of fun.